Hey guys, I was recently asked which foods I should eat and which foods I should avoid if I have fibromyalgia. And that is a great question and I'm going to cover that right now. So the two main underlying issues I see with the fibromyalgia patient are gastrointestinal distress and immune system overstimulation. Now, with that in mind, we need to avoid foods that aggravate both the gastrointestinal system while they overstimulate the immune system. Remember, 70 to 80 percent of your immune system is actually located in your gastrointestinal system. So they are closely related. We have to remove foods that we are sensitive to because they not only aggravate our gut, creating gas and bloating and potentially constipation or diarrhea, but they also overstimulate our immune system, which causes inflammation that results in pain, fatigue, and brain fog. So the connection between the gut and the immune system is often what we would call leaky gut syndrome or intestinal hyperpermeability. I'm really going to keep this simple, but when your gut lining is compromised and leaky, larger than normal food particles slip from your gut into your blood and that causes your immune system to be overstimulated, which can cause fibromyalgia flare-ups, which in turn causes pain, fatigue, brain fog, and often bloating. So as we address your question, we have to remove foods that tend to aggravate fibromyalgia. And I would call these foods sensitivity. And they may be different for everyone, but there are some that are more common that I see more frequently in a clinical setting. We then have to add foods that reduce inflammation and that are low on the sensitivity scale and have the added benefit of reducing inflammation. So let me say that foods are not the only thing that aggravate fibromyalgia, but they are a key component. For most fibromyalgia sufferers, there are many underlying issues that tend to aggravate the gastrointestinal system as well as overstimulate the immune system, but that's for another video. We do a food sensitivity here in our clinic that looks for um, foods that your immune system reacts to. It uses just a few drops of blood, but it is very, very accurate and effective. The things I see most frequently when I use this test on fibromyalgia sufferers are dairy products, wheat or gluten, eggs, egg whites or egg yolks. And the number one allergen in America is dairy and then corn and soy, which is in just about everything and very hard to avoid. Now, sugar is also a major issue. Sugar will aggravate your gut as well as compromise your immune system and cause systemic or system-wide inflammation, as well as foods that turn to sugar quickly like bread, pasta, potatoes, even starchy vegetables like corn and carrots. So obviously candy, cookies, sweets of any kind are going to be bad for you in general and especially bad for you if you are a fibromyalgia sufferer. The foods that reduce inflammation and are lower on the glycemic index would be berries of any kind, fatty fish, broccoli, avocados, green tea, mushrooms, grapes, turmeric, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, you're going to like this one, dark chocolate or cocoa, and cherries. Now, these are not going to be true for everyone, but from a general perspective, this is pretty consistent. So, we're offering a discount at this time on that food sensitivity test, which is very, very cool. It's something that you can actually do in your own home, again, with just a few drops of blood. Uh, the lab sends you a test kit and you simply prick your finger, put a few drops of blood on the test panel and send it back to the lab. Within 14 days you get the results and you know beyond a shadow of a doubt how your immune system is reacting to these foods. And this is close to 200 different foods and the, the more common foods. In many cases I'll start off a new fibromyalgia patient that's under my care 
on an anti-inflammatory diet, which is going to look a lot like the paleo diet or a ketogenic diet. In these diets, it's not so much what you're eating that's beneficial, but it's what you're not eating. So we're removing foods that consistently cause gastrointestinal distress, immune system overstimulation, as well as inflammation, which is systemic or system-wide. Supplements that reduce inflammation effectively would be turmeric, fish oil, vitamin D, which helps to regulate the immune system. Now, it's important to make note, when using supplements, you need to be using pharmaceutical grade because the contents of a pharmaceutical grade uh, supplement is verified by a third party. So you know exactly what you're getting. You know that you're getting what you pay for. The other really good thing is that they're bioavailable, which means that your body can break them down and use them. So I will leave a link in the description, actually with a discount code, if you'd like to purchase those products. And I'll also leave a link to that food sensitivity test so you can take a closer look at it. But I think it would be very beneficial for many of you. Um, I hope that answers your question and gives you some direction as far as what foods make your fibromyalgia worse and what foods may reduce the symptoms of fibromyalgia. I do have a program called Fibromyalgia Heroes, which is a fibromyalgia coaching and implementation recovery program. So we actually walk you through the process of recovering from fibromyalgia. If you're interested in knowing more about that, I'll leave a link in the, t in the description as well. But thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to our page for more videos like this. Thanks so much and have a great day. Dr. Mark Daly is the founder of Fibromyalgia University, the president of Birmingham Functional Medicine, creator of Fibromyalgia Heroes, which is a coaching and implementation recovery program. He is a certified functional medicine practitioner, a nutritional counselor, and a doctor of chiropractic. He has advanced education in functional endocrinology, functional blood chemistry, the brain and neurotransmitters, as well as thyroid function.